Welcome back to TYT Sports. The Houston Astros are your 2017 World Series champions after going up 5-0 very yeah. early on in Game 1. The uh, Earls. The easiest uh, storyline to take from it was, why the fuck did you, Darvish, pitch that game? <laughs> And then after about 15 pitches, meatball after meatball, zero movement, less velocity. Why did you allow after the first inning when he gave up two to not start Kershaw in the second inning? Would it have mattered? Who knows? Obviously, it's a lot easier to climb out of a 2-0 hole than it would be to climb out of a 5-0 hole. But the Astros didn't have to do much. No. Because Charlie Morton, uh -huh. <laughs> of all people, yeah, seriously. in these very strange moments in, in, the, in clutch baseball history... You sometimes get the absolute best, and when you want to talk about a tail end fastball that was pinpoint for most of that game, one mistake throughout his five, four or five innings pitched, but brilliant, and credit to A.J. Hinch, who trusted him. And at no point did he say, I should bring in Keiko or should I bring in Verlander, or definitely not Ken Giles, <laughs> who would have undoubtedly blown the lead. Yeah. Uh, the Astros win, it was not an exciting game seven, it was actually one not of the exciting. very boring game sevens, but it did cap off. There uh, were exciting the moments, there were potentially there was uh, tension. Right, there was tension and there was this potential when the Dodgers had some guys left on base. Uh, they left 10 on you base overall. All of them. They left all of them. Yeah, they left all of them on base. The only guy who had an RBI is someone who will probably not be back with the Los Angeles Doyers, Andre Ethier. It was the longest tenure of Dodgers. Longest. <laughs> who told you that? That would be Joe Buck. In, in which game? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I take a guess? Was it game seven? Somebody texted me. Jason called it. I go, man, have you watched the World Series? He yes. says it twice a game. <laughs> Jason it's, called it. He says, he goes, he says it, and then he's like, I just want to thank our notes guy. He's been with us for 18 years with the most phenomenal notes. It seems like he's got one note on Andre Ethier. Longest tenure done. Longest tenure done. What was the other buckisms? It's a must, must win, win game. game. It's a must win game. Not a note. Just a oh, it broadcaster it's a, it's narrative. A, it's a must win game. Uh, Every game was a must win. Okay, so here, here's a few, a few different takeaways. Um, Charlie Morton goes in like the random list of guys, as you said. I couldn't remember some of them, but I do remember Marco Scudero was an MVP of the World Series. Well, again, uh, just like a clutch. Oh no, no, no! no I moment. know, I know. Um, what was the guy's name who was on Boston, formerly the Giants, who hit like huge home runs in the playoffs? Pablo Sandoval. No, no. With all the RBIs. For no, it. no. Who? No, no, no. The guy that came over the Giants was Sandoval. Who no, 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 not RBIs, Sandoval. He was an outfielder, played for Boston and San Victor Reno? No, that Hunter was another. Pence? No, I'm sorry. I know I'm throwing a Move on. wrench in here. Move on. So he goes in the random list of guys that you never think would ever Angel perform. Pagan? No, but that he didn't play for Boston. No. But that was a good for the one. Giants. But regardless, uh, Charlie Morton, who uh, has two kids, he celebrated with his kids. He's like, baseball, I love baseball, but it's all about this. And he's like talking to a reporter and he's hugging his family. Yeah, it was a cute yeah. moment. Uh, Carlos Correa, better moment. Proposed. Winning the World Series. <laughs> Duh. I'm kidding. I have he no heart. Proposed? Did he have the ring in his back fucking pocket the whole time? Someone had to have been holding it. Was allowed who on the you field. Who trust with that? Your agent. No. Because then you fired. No. No! no! You trust your agent? Why not? No fucking way! Who do you trust? You trust your uh, uh, your trust, parents? Uh, Brian McCann. He's too slow to run away with it. Couldn't get <laughs> couldn't get out of the stadium. Uh, trust Evan Gaddis, like who was Correa, a janitor I ten like years ago. Doing the uh, joking with Brian McCann after he got the sack fly. Oh yeah, you made it, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool team. Like the Astros are a cool, hip, young cool team. team. Look, uh, Correa, they're ladies' men. Correa, Springer, Bregman, drafted, Beltran, make oh, moves, good, make good. moves to get guys like Jose Altuve, adding in pieces like Justin Verlander and Dallas Keuchel and Charlie Morton, finding these right. guys and Lance McCullers. Fourteen million dollar contract. And they had specific uh, things. Look, Altuve, Correa, and Springer combined this year made a roughly eight point seven million dollars oh, combined. And look, here's what I'm going to tell you: Springer and Altuve. Uh -huh. When they're up for uh, arbitration, they will be the two highest paid players at their position. Yes, rightfully Springer so. Springer just had the greatest World Series I've ever seen a hitter have. Uh, he was unreal when they needed him to be. Yes. On the other end of that, Bellinger and Seager. 
Dodgers Horrible. fans have nothing to worry about. Right, but they were horrible they in this were World bad. Series. They're they're rookies. But yeah, they're young. What do you expect exactly. of them? Altuve, Springer, and Cray are a little bit more. That's why it's amazing what Bregman did, because he out-batted Justin Turner. Agreed. Uh, and, as a second-year player. And, of course, having the game-winning hit in game five oh, yeah, against the, Kenley the, Jansen, who a lot of people were criticizing. But you have to remember, he threw 30 pitches. He's not accustomed to throwing 30 pitches. We've only seen yeah. one guy who was the most important reliever for that respective team go in the 30-pitch mark, and that was Wade Davis, the, the only game the only game that the yeah. Cubs won. So let me go back to something, because we could talk about how it was uh, a great World Series, a boring game, seven, yada, yada. Go back to what you said about Kershaw. Do you think... And it's easy to say now, dope, but you, yeah. you thought from the get-go that he no, should have started over you, Darvish. I thought the second that you, Darvish, gave up one run. I'm glad you clarified because that's exactly how I thought. One the run, Yuli, I think the one best. One run. And then you watch. Look, anybody can sit on the look couch Look at the Gurriel watch. at bat. You have to it look at. It was devastating. Have, he was throwing absolute jack shit garbage pitches. Mm-hmm. He was throwing batting practice. And we talked about he his slider just staying over the middle the he entire wasn't game. He prepared. I mean, John Smoltz said it best. He threw a pitch and he's like, you see that those seams making a fat circle? On your changeup, you're going to get clobbered. And yeah. Springer hit one 110 miles an hour off the bat, absolutely took advantage of him. And the facts of the matter are this, that that Springer home run, uh, uh, trusting you, Darvish, after giving up two runs in the first inning, it's a nine-inning baseball game. Yes, man. yes, It's time to make I up agree. for that, and the Dodgers had their chances. And then giving up another run, sure, the Springer at bat will stand as the single worst managerial decision of Dave Roberts' career, he'll never. It will never get that bad again because you learn from these mistakes. Mm-hmm. But he, how do you not? For the guy who all series was pulling pitchers left and right, yes. and trusting his process, yes. and that won him. What cost him in Game Two won him Game Six. So it went back and forth. But the facts of the matter is that Dave Roberts will never make a decision that bad again in his career, and the Dodgers will learn from it. Roberts will learn from it. Seager and Bellinger won't be that bad again. Young Jock Peterson has a lot to still prove as an all-around player, but you should pay him. He's about to go into arbitration. Um, God, what a postseason he had. He had a good postseason. I mean, his uh, rookie year. They have a the complete fir- team. They're going to be back in it next year. They're, They're already the fu- favorites to win next year, according to, right. I believe, Bovada. They're so right, a few yes. points, just a devil's advocate point. What Dave Roberts wanted, and I agree with you, you got to be consistent. And he pulled starters very early throughout the entire postseason and in the World Series, and it helped him. So consistency is key. What he wanted to do to play devil's advocate was have you Darvish get one more out because the pitcher spot was due up third the very next inning. Now, leaving him in late, or leaving him in longer than we expected, obviously it didn't play out in his favor. Clayton Kershaw goes out and pitches really, really well on two days rest. But regardless of if you, if you are one of those people who is thinking right now, Clayton Kershaw should have started. I still don't agree because no matter what, it seems like you, Darvish, probably would have been used at some point in time in this game, whether it was for an inning, whether it was for two innings. If Kershaw were to start on two days rest, they would have used Darvish, they then would have used Morrow, and then so on and so forth, depending on the matchups that they had. So I still think that he would have been in this game. So what Dave Roberts wanted, getting back to it, is one more out. Because then he could have pinch hit for Darvish and gone know, with somebody but that else. Out, but that out it's a devil's advocate that point out, of know, looking at it and how he looked at it I most know. likely. The thing that's unfortunately wrong with it is that out had to come against the hottest hitter yeah, in the entire fucking series. I know. So how many? How many straight games hitting a home four run? Four straight home four runs. Four straight. And four straight games. He was absolutely on fire. He was hitting it into every part of the ballpark. And Springer mm-hmm. is a good player. The thing I wanted to give the most credit to um, the Astros infield defense. Uh, the reason they left so many people on base is because Bregman made three remarkably difficult plays. Uh, punch outs, he had a diving play to, to get the ball down, and he kept mm-hmm. balls blocked and in play. Bregman's a second year player mm-hmm. and a very bright young third baseman who just got put into the toughest series of his life to this point. So, and he swam. That's how you win. The Dodgers, uh, you cannot understate how important it is that the Astros won this World Series. Why? Because they went through the Red Sox, the Yankees, and the Dodgers. And while the Indians were probably one of the best teams that they could have faced, they didn't have to face them. Those two themes, th- those three teams, not two themes, those good come. three teams are worth a billion dollars. They have nearly a billion dollar payroll. The Astros have the 15th, roughly, in the MLB's payroll. So what mm-hmm. it shows is you can't buy championships. And while the Dodgers have done a good job to show you what it takes, it took their fifth division title in a row, but it took drafting or getting a hold of players like Bellinger and mm-hmm. Seager to ever get to this point. It wasn't who they bought that got them to this point. So the point is, Jeff Lundhau is brilliant yep. for putting that team together. Hinch, 
Who knows if he's a good manager, but he does part. Astros next year, uh, World Series hangover is tough, but the Cubbies, Very. people are forgetting that the Cubbies and Theo Epstein have been working the day since the day that they lost game five to rebuild for next year and, and make the right moves. Because if it's not this year, it's the year after. Amazingly, it went seven games with how poor the Dodgers hitters were in this series. Like Cody Bellinger the struck out. position, they were like, they were like 100. I think 100. I have 100. that number. Really they were 0 for 9 in the game. 1 of point. 13 yesterday. 1 of 13. With Andre Ethier obviously being the one RBI. Uh, a the few, longest a few, a few numbers. Uh, Cody Bellinger struck out nearly 20 times in this series. A rookie. I know. A rookie. I know. Corey Seager struck out nine times. That's not bad. At Justin all. Turner. That's bad. By he the way, uh, like, he was batting like 500 up until that point. Oh, what's up, Brett? Um, we continue. But the. Uh, I, I know. Uh, I got. I got to let this go because I wanted to read how bad Justin Turner were. I think it was like 425 is what he was in the World Series, considering how dominant he has been in the postseason. Yeah. He didn't have a good he World Series either. The Dodgers would win the World Series based on Justin Turner's at-bats. And I think he was right. <laughs> Remarkably right.